So let's continue with the turbine. We gotta choose the expander. An expander is either model as literally an expander or it is also a turbine. So the turbine workload. This implies that the work is going to be used, I don't know, maybe for a mechanical shaft or whatever. But this heat energy, the internal energy of this trim, which is very, very high because it is at 2000 Celsius, is going to be used to do work. Maybe even to convert it later on, on to electricity. The outlet will be most likely going to the uh, atmosphere. So we need to we need to state the efficiency on the where is it expander is eighty five point seven. So let's go state that eighty five point seven. Click. So no need to state anything else. The outlet, the only thing we know is that the outlet is one atmosphere because it's ambient pressure. So we define the turbine right now. As you can see, the temperature is still pretty high. It's from 2000 to 1000. So we could still be working more. But anyways, we are interested on this turbine workload. And this is actually one of the last questions we need to answer. And we are done with the vapor path. We're going to continue with the liquid path. So see you in the next video.